Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Go Pikachu! <gasps> Jigglypuff? Hello there, Jigglypuff! Oh, look at your little tuft of hair! So cute! Why does he keep doing this? There we go! Oh, oh, yes, we caught it! Okay, I forgot Rotata is injured and fainted. Oh yeah! Jigglypuff uses its cute round eyes to enrapture its foe. It then sings a pleasing melody that lulls the foe to sleep. Well, that is the way to win, I guess. I think maybe I'm running at these Abras too quickly and that's what's scaring them off. Me? Well, okay, I'll play. Okay then, kid. Bring it on. You are challenged by Picnicker Isabel. Okay, Isabel, what have you got? A Charmander? How did you get a Charmander? Go, Nidorina. Wait, how injured are you? Not very. That's okay. That's fine. I want you to use Bite. Oh, that was good. That was good. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, don't be singed, please. Go on, use Bite once more. Yes, and Charmander is down. That is what I like to see. I like to see my party of Pokemon getting somewhere, improving. Ah, oh, things just didn't work out. I know, Isabel, but you can only learn through your failures and improve your tactical ability. Hello. Oh, huh? You want to talk to me? Um, I guess? Camper Jeff. What have you got for me? A bell sprout. Ooh, if you could point me in the direction of where you caught one of them. Much obliged. Okay, Nidorina. You've got the hang of this now. Let's use double kick. Or not. Let's not use double kick. That's not good. Yes, Bell Sprout fainted. Woo, we beat Jeff. This stinks. I couldn't beat your challenge. Like I said with the lady, you can only improve via your failures. Jigglypuff, I want another one. Come on, come on. Yes. Fantastic. Ooh, Squirtle and Ivysaur leveled up. I want this. What is this? Ooh, a Paralyze Heal? Just what I need. Although I do need to come across a Pokemon Center soon, as Rattata is still fainted. Nidorine is also kind of injured, so I hope she can hang in there. But hey, look, we're at a town. Oh, you found the Squirtle? Hello. I just caught a Squirtle that was always getting into mischief. I think it needs a good trainer to set it straight. Uh, sure? I guess so. Wow, you've caught 64 Pokemon! You must be a great trainer. I have a favour to ask you. Would you take care of this troublesome Squirtle? Oh, I would love to. Okay, please take good care of Squirtle. Of course I will. Oh, what level are you, Squirtle? I'll have to have a look. Let's see. Level 16? Oh, I might add you to the party. I'm sorry, other Squirtle, but I've switched you out. I'm just going to chat with this old gentleman. Did you see it? The SS Anne is in the harbour right now. I will be going to see it as I am getting on it. But let's head into the Pokemon Center as my Pokemon desperately need healing. Thanks for waiting. Your Pokemon should be all better now. Why, thank you. Who else is in here? Oh, hello there. Hello there, young lady. How would you like to trade your Geodude for my Geodude? Uh, sure. That sounds like a good trade, I guess. You know what? You can have this level six male. Oh, and yours... <gasps> trade Pokemon. Oh, ho, ho, delightful. In that case, let us begin. Of course. Bye, Geodude! 
Have a good life. Wee! Oh. Oh my goodness. Now that is a geo dude. Whoa. That's really cool. If you bring more Cantonian Geodude, I'll be happy to trade with you anytime. Oh, thank you. Let's have a look. Do I have a Geodude in the party? No, I don't. So next time one of my Pokemon evolves into their final form, I will switch out with the Aloha Geodude. And hopefully that one will evolve soon. Oh, hello there. It's true that higher level Pokemon are stronger, but all Pokemon have weaknesses too based on their types. Basically, you're gonna have a hard time finding one all-powerful Pokemon. True, true. When my Pokemon was poisoned the other day, it healed its own poisoning so I wouldn't worry. Oh, that's adorable. It must love me lots, don't you think? Completely. Oh, excuse me, fisherman. Even if Pokemon are the same level, that doesn't mean one is always as strong as another. But a weak Pokemon can get stronger the more candies you give them, or so I hear. I didn't know that. That is a good tip, sir. Let's see, where should I go? Hello? If you're new to training Pokemon, you should give my place a little visit. It's an empty house, but I've rented it so people can use it as a place to gather and share tips. Oh, that is very kind of you. Oh. Hello! You look all fancy. You know you have a better chance of catching a Pokemon with a Great Ball than with a Pokeball. Even then, it's not a guaranteed catch, of course. Ah, yes. What are you lecturing this kid about? When the ring's colour is green, it means the Pokemon is easy to catch, right? And when it's yellow, it's a bit harder. But when it's red, it becomes super hard. Yes, I'm sure it does. Aim for the center when the ring is small. I hear that's the trick when throwing Pokeballs. It is indeed, however, I am terrible at throwing Pokeballs. I fed a Nana berry to a wild Pokemon and it seemed to calm the Pokemon down. It just stopped jumping around, so I was able to aim with my Pokeballs easily. Oh, useful. Very, very useful. Thank you for the tips. I am off. Let's see, is Matthew not around here? What is this? Vermilion City, the port of exquisite sunsets. Oh, I do love a good sunset. I get so sweaty after doing sports that I end up feeling all grimy. Speaking of which, you know Grimer? It's born from ocean sludge. Ooh, really? Not sweat, I guess. Yeah, that would be worse. Ugh. There are wicked people out there who use Pokemon to do awful things. Stealing other Pokemon, selling them for ridiculously high prices, and you want to know where these bad folks all gather? Team Rocket. That's where. Oh. Sounds like he does not like Team Rocket. I think Pokemon can be good or bad. It depends on the trainer. Very true. Okay then. Hello there, vendor. May I buy some of your finest Pokeballs? Okay. Oh, actually I have 44 of them I don't need anymore. And I also have loads of Great Balls. Hmm. I don't think I need any of them, actually. Thank you for just talking to me, buddy. Whoa, what is that matchup doing? I wanna... What does this say? Vermilion Port. Okay. I completely missed this little area. Oh, hey, matchup. Oh, okay. A matchup is stomping the land flat. Oh. Hello. This is my land. All of it. I own everything in this square area here. I'm having my Pokemon use Bulldoze to prepare the site so I can build something here. Oh, that is cool. But what are you gonna build, I wonder? Whose house is this? Oh, hey, hello. Which Pokemon do you prefer? The puppy Pokemon Growlithe or the scratch cat Pokemon Meowth? Ooh, that is a tricky one. I like Meowth, but I like THE Meowth, not Meowth in general. I prefer Growlithe as a Pokemon. Ah, you didn't have to answer. I knew the answer. Sorry, it was a stupid question. Huh. If you catch five of the puppy Pokemon Growlithe, I'll give you a great Pokemon. Oh, you can ride on its back. Can I? That'll be cool. Wait, what? Pikachu, what are you doing with your tail? If I... What is going on? That's 
really weird. Why is Pikachu doing that with... It was only over here. Huh. Hey, you're far-fetched. Oh. <laughs> I'm particularly fond of bird Pokemon. Me and my partner Ducks here are going to go catch a Spearow soon. Oh. Cool. Good luck to you. I'm gonna search through your trash. Nothing in there, I guess. Okay, and what is this place? It looks pretty. Oh. Well, that's cool. Are you a real ditto or a fake ditto? That is a fake ditto, I can confirm. The seal is cute, though. Oh. There are words beneath. My beloved Firo. Oh. What about this? My adorable Pokemon and me. A title, maybe. Oh. Oh, Rapidash. It looks like it's titled My Cute Rapidash. Listen politely to other trainers when they're showing off their adorable Pokemon. Oh, I see. This is like a Pokemon club. If someone brags, brag right back about ten times more than them. Hmm. Easier said than done, I'm afraid. I'm the chairman of the Pokemon fan club. I raise more than a hundred Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. I surely am. So, did you come visit to hear about my Pokemon? Uh, yeah. Oh, you see, my favorite Rapidash is the cutest. It's so cute and lovely and smart. It's almost too much to take. Plus, it's really amazing when you stop to look at it, don't you think so? Oh, yes. Its looks are so stunning and its heart is so kind you can't help but love it. And when you hug it tight when it's sleeping, it's so warm and cuddly. Yes, but you also get third degree burns. Plus, it looks spectacular. Spectacular, of course. Oh, and it's simply ravishing when... Oops, look at the time. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. Oh, oh, I got a Pikachu set from the chairman. Oh, it's a costume set that you can use to dress up like your partner Pokemon. You can change via the bag option in the main menu. That is cool. Can I do that now or not? Clothing trunk. Choose an outfit for Pikachu. <gasps> you can wear sportswear. Oh my goodness. <gasps> and a sports cap. Look at you. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I can wear Pikachu stuff. Oh my goodness. That's it. I am fully Pikachuing this outfit. What about my bag? Can I change my... Oh, yes! Look at that. Now, Pikachu is me and I am Pikachu. However, Pikachu does not want a hat. I can tell. Remove your hat. There we go. Back into the trunk. Oh, we look so adorable. Oh, my goodness. This is awesome. I love it. Thank you, Chairman. Hey, would you look at my Pikachu's adorable tail? Uh, is this your Pikachu? Hello. Oh, hey there. Oh, these are cute little plushies, except that Pikachu head is kind of scary. Way too big. I just adore my seal. It's so lovable. It squeals quee when I hug it. it wait, what? It's, it squeals when you hug it? Uh, maybe you should calm down a little and not hug it so tight, hmm? Hey kid, uh, you be careful there, okay? Some Pokemon don't just want to walk with you, some would rather give their trainer a ride. I bet it would be pretty great to take a ride with a Pokemon that could swim across the water or fly through the air. That would be amazing. Oh, little Magikarp. <gasps> oh, the gym, yes. Hello there. This thing here isn't for resting your feet on, you know. It's for tying up your boat. Aha, uh -huh, I knew that, thank you. Hey there. I'm getting my Pidgey to fly a letter to Saffron City in the north. Okay, that's a good bird. Hello. Gee, I wish I could take a trip aboard the SS Anne someday. I could make new friends all over the world. That is something I hope to do too. How amazing would it be to travel the world? One can only hope. You okay? You enjoying the flowers? Oh, Ivysaw found something that was dropped in the flower bed. Oh, another pretty wing. Thank you, Ivysaw. 
There's a notice posted by the Vermilion Police. A sleeping Pokemon has been blocking the way on Route 12 lately. Detour through the rock tunnel if you need to reach Lavender Town. Oh. Lavender Town. Oh. Diglett's Cave. I see. I don't want to head this way first. I haven't fully explored Vermilion City or the SS Anne. Hey there! The SS Anne is a famous luxury cruise ship. It visits Vermilion Port just once a year. Oh. Hey! Oh. Welcome to the SS Anne. But not so fast. Do you have a ticket, young lady? I do! You flashed your SS ticket at the man. Well, that's interesting. Yup, that'll do. Welcome aboard the SS Anne. Oh, and that's not all. You're the 100th guest to join us aboard the SS Anne today, so here you go. Please enjoy this breezy outfit as you feel the salty air on your skin. Oh, I got a sailor outfit. Hmm. Maybe I shall put it on. What do you think? Right then, I think I will. Oh my. That is a nice hat. Oh. Oh. Hmm. What about shoes? And your bag. Oh. Oh, hey, look at me in my sailor outfit. Oh, that is so cute. Very, very stylish. Thank you, good sir. So just before I board the SS Anne, I'm going to leave this episode there. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, remember to leave a like below so I know to continue this series. Feel free to leave me a comment and subscribe if you are new. Remember to hit that notification button. I will see you in the next episode, guys. Bye!